Sorry. Hey, hey! Excuse me, I'm just gonna grab my lunch. Who wouldn't want to see their favorite cartoon characters crossed over into a new world, the multiverse, in a crossover of epic proportions? Guys, today I found some crazy crossover that you guys have may have forgotten to just remember because these have been lost. I found some lost crossovers from cartoons and these are epic. Seeing two cartoon characters come together in one world is amazing. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you multiple crossovers of multiple characters. So today, let's go on to number 10. <gasps> a hero! Hi. <laughs> In a Cartoon Network special with OKKO, OK we see him crossing over with multiple cartoons. One of the main characters sees a cartoon from Teen Titans Go or Teen Titans, uh, Raven. And this is crazy to see. In fact, we even see Ben 10 here and Steven Universe characters. Now, this is very crazy to see so many characters in one crossover and thus this being, you know, pretty much a special because this usually never happens in cartoons um, ever. This is this was a monumental moment, but the characters go on an adventure to fight evil. Take a look. I'm part of a group of superheroes called the Teen Titans. So the characters are all kind of crossed over in kind of an Infinity War slash Endgame type style, and they're going on a quest to defeat the bad guy. Now, it sounds kind of generic, but who cares? We got to see our favorite characters, Uncle Grandpa, Gumball, uh, Mordecai, uh, Edit and Eddie, uh, you know, all these characters in one, you know, episode. That's crazy. They all morphed into each other. Now, granted, we didn't really hear, you know, all these other characters talking, but at least we got to see them, and that counts as a crime crossover this was kind of a kind of like an end game type infinity war type crossover and that's why I made it on this list guys it's pretty crazy all right guys let's go ahead and go on to number nine it's just shocking ice king and wrong show Woo! glad that's over you said it hey am I changing the channel to an action movie ah! now that clip went by pretty quickly and I hope you guys caught what actually happened on screen yes guys this cartoon is called we bear bears and it's actually really crazy that this happened and no one really talks about this because, you know, Adventure Time actually showed up in here, uh, you know, Finn and everyone else. Now, We Bear Bears is a show on Cartoon Network and the art style made perfect sense for it to cross over with Adventure Time. Now, some cartoons don't have the same art style, which makes it kind of difficult and awkward when they do cross over. But since these art styles are so similar, it's even similar to, uh, you know, the regular show. But, you know, take a look at this, guys. You know, Adventure Time actually crossed over. Now, it's very funny that's happened, and of course, Cartoon Network is just infamous for doing these crossovers nowadays. But guys, let's zoom into the characters, and you can actually see the color scheme is really off. You know, Mordecai, uh, not Mordecai, Finn and Jake. Their color scheme is really off. Even the Ice King, you know, when we take a look at the Ice King, he usually has a blue shirt on, a blue, you know, robe or whatever. But, you know, in this crossover thing, he doesn't have that on. It's just like a... White. And what I realized is, is that it's not just a random choice. It's actually the creators and artists made this because they wanted it to be a reflection of the Wee Bear Bears. It's the color scheme of the Wee Bear Bears. So Adventure Time definitely did cross over. I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, well, this is kind of a crossover, not really a crossover, but this is really a crossover because the characters are literally drawn in the shape of Finn. And we all know Finn. We all know Finn. And we all know that Adventure Time ended. No, no. Why did I remind you that the show ended forever? It's never coming back ever, never, ever, ever. But yeah, guys, this was a crazy crossover. I got to give Cartoon Network props. Now, a lot of these crossovers are coming from Cartoon Network. But besides that, there's actually a crossover that's going to come from Disney. And you guys are not going to see this one coming. Let's go ahead and take a look at this together. <laughs> the old mistaken for a grotesque lifeless being. Wowzers, Gravity Falls? Gravity Falls in 2020, people. Gravity freaking falls, guys. We see the character, you know, obviously, you know, Grunkle. But, you know, what's crazy about this is that, you know, Gravity Falls came back and people always say, oh, it's not coming back, but I always said that. And now another YouTuber called Vilskabum94 was making a video saying that Gravity Falls would never come back. Take a look. Please don't spread the rumor of a season three happening. No matter how many terrible headlines pique your interest, remember that it couldn't be further from the truth. Now, he's claiming that it couldn't be further from the truth, and obviously he's taking digs at people who make, you know, Gravity Falls Season 3. But one of the comments on Veilskabum's videos actually got to me, and he actually liked the comment. So, you know, Veilskabum is obviously throwing shade at me. He's obviously saying something about Kalobi. And I know this is off topic, and I'm going to get off this topic really quick, guys, to go back to the crossovers. But I challenge Veilskabum94 to a cartoon rap battle. 
All right, guys, we're back to the video at hand. No more filler. Let's get back in this crossover. So the crossover, you know, it takes place, you know, the Owl House is a very, oh, not the Owl House, the Amphibia, Amphibia, and you know, the two shows are so similar. I'm so sorry. I'm not going to cut this out. But Amphibia crossed over with, you know, uh, Gravity Falls. It's crazy to see Gravity Falls content after all these years. And it looks like the characters are kind of having fun here in this frog kind of world. Sweet Tadpole Mary! That's right. I'm the ultimate oddity, baby. Obviously, the original actors for Gravity Falls, which was the creator of Gravity Falls with Grunkle or whatever, Stan, he came back to voice act this thing, which just shows you that this show is far from over. We can expect new content. But it's crazy that this even happened. I mean... I feel like people are not as surprised as they were. Like, they were surprised, but I feel like we should at least just, you know, just accept that Gravity Falls is not over. But to cross over like this after all these years of being over, wow, that is crazy. And the Owl House, why do I keep saying the Owl House? Amphibia is such a crazy show that we might even see more crossovers, but there might even be a crossover with the Owl House. So, you know, we got to look forward to that. Let's go on to number seven. This one is actually really old, but gold. So, you must be the new kid, uh, Ken, Ren... Ben! <laughs> yes! The Justice League crossed over with Ben 10 from Cartoon Network. I mean, what is even happening at this point? I, I dug this up, I did a lot of research, and I found that Ben 10, you know, the kid with the, you know, Omni thing on his hand, the watch thing, is able to morph into any character, he's able to do anything, and I, I don't remember seeing this, yet this was a lost, you know, crossed over. Now, how did we miss this, guys? Take a look at this. It looks like Ben 10 is actually in interacting with Batman, Superman, all these cool characters, even Aquaman, Wonder Woman. And it's it's really crazy that this even happened. You know, Ben 10 is being really friendly. He literally casually just walked past the heroes. And I don't understand why people don't talk about this. Now, obviously, if this happened in today, it'd be like, oh, whoa, Ben 10. But obviously, this is really crazy. I mean, we know that Ben 10 has all these powers. So he is pretty much in the same league as Superman, Batman, because, you know, he's he doesn't really have, you know, he, he is a superhuman kind of with the watch, you know, the Omnitrix. But guys, that's besides the point. I'm going to go ahead and play, play you another clip here in a second, but take a look at how these interactions go. It's actually really funny. Does uh, anyone want half my sandwich? Oh, 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 oh I do. I Aquaman is really hungry for a sandwich. And it's funny because it turns out the sandwich is actually tuna and Aquaman was eating tuna. But anyway, guys. It's crazy to see Ben 10 in this light because we know that Ben 10 has two, like, you know, series. This is not the newer Ben 10. We're talking about the old Ben 10 in this crossover. And would it be interesting to see the newer Ben 10 in a crossover? Not really, unless they did it with Teen Times Go. I don't think the art style would make sense with this. But this old, very old cartoon crossover is something for the books, people. We need to share this thing. We need people to know about this. Very, very cool. I actually have some more nostalgic, you know, crossovers coming up later down the list. So guys, you don't want to miss out on this. Crossovers that people have just never seen. I haven't even seen some of these myself, but we found them today, guys, for you, for your entertainment. But like I said, in the episode, Ben 10 is just eating tuna, casually walking past all these heroes, and he even offers Aquaman, you know, his sandwich. I mean, Kudos to you, Ben 10. You're definitely showing that you are, you know, you could even be part of the team with that attitude of honesty. But guys, go and take a look at this. You know what, Superman? I used to have pajamas that looked just like your outfit. You, you did. Obviously, Ben 10 is just making all the characters feel so welcome, making them feel cool. I thought it was going to be like an angry thing where the characters were going to make fun of Ben 10 or something. But no, dude, I mean, everything happened chill in this crossover. And it was really cool to see this. All right, guys, let's just go ahead and go on to the next one. And the next one we're going to be dealing with is number six. Take a look, people. What time is it? Time for you to shut up! Futurama, baby, and Adventure Time. Another Adventure Time crossover. Man, Adventure Time, the creators must have had so many connections. But, guys, this is kind of a short one. I'm going to move on real quick because there's not really much to go off of. But, obviously, you know, we see them cross over. He tells them to shut up. You know, what time is it? You know, Adventure Time intro usually says, you know, what time is it? And, obviously, it's a little parody. You know, a little smidgen of a parody put in. And this is real, obviously. And so, you know, it's funny to see this. It's crazy to see this because this is an adult cartoon mixing over with a kid cartoon. Kind of strange. Let's go on to the next one. Number five. Cinco. Cinco. You girls might look like harmless, adorable babies, but 
You really are superheroes. Teen Titans Go versus the Powerpuff Girls. Or not versus, more like a uh, yeah, crossover. Yeah, obviously. Was this crazy to see? You know, it wasn't that shocking. They have the same art style, so it would be kind of easy for them to do this. But still kind of shocking. What are the Powerpuff Girls doing with the Teen Titans? I mean, we would never see this in the past, I believe, you know, like all of them just coming together like this, which is really crazy to see them, you know, going together, fighting crime, running together. Like, what the heck is even happening? I know a lot of people hate Teen Titans Go. A lot of people even hate the reboot of the Powerpuff Girls, but guys, we're talking about the reboot here. So I guess it's fair game. I know they didn't like, it's not like they crossed over with the old one, kind of like the movie did. But guys, let's take a look at what happens here. Magic Monkey, I know we should be mad at you right now, but it is super cute when you talk. Obviously, they were making fun of the villain, and you know, was it shocking? Yeah, I guess you could say that. A lot of things are shocking, but um, you know, you just gotta keep it moving, people. Gotta keep it moving. But yes, guys, what do you guys think of this crossover? Um, I know, again, I know there's a lot of plaque with this Teen Titans Go business. I know a lot of people don't like it, but hey, guys, a lot of people do like it, you know, that are, you know, people have just grown to love it because we got to accept that we have this crossover. But yeah, guys, really crazy seeing the Powerpuff Girls, you know, doing this. How many of you guys like Powerpuff Girls? How many of you guys admit that you even watch Powerpuff Girls? I'm talking to the guys watching the video now. How many of you guys would admit that? Well, guys, go on. And, you know, looking at this crossover really made me realize that the old Teen Titans, if they tried to do this with that, it would be really crazy. I mean, what if they crossed over, you know, with the old Teen Titans? But this is a video that, I mean, this is a topic for another hand because we're never going to get this. And I'm not talking about Teen Titans versus Teen Titans Go. I'm talking about a real crossover, but I guess it's too late. Obviously, the original Teen Titans did end, so whoop-de-doo. But anyway, guys, let's go on to the next one, which is number four. Wow, this is pretty neat. What's this for? We find that this setup helps us think. What's this? Milo and Phineas and Ferb. I know a lot of people probably don't remember this, or some people are aware of this. I know it's kind of mixed. But obviously when Milo, you know, crossed over to this crazy world, a lot of things started happening. I'm going to explain what exactly happened in a second, but it's crazy to see Phineas and Ferb just chilling by a tree, and this character we see just comes together. I mean, what a crossover. I mean, fans all over the world must have been shocked to see this even happen. But the crazy thing about this episode is things actually go wrong. Things actually turn for the worse in this episode, and you're going to see what I'm talking about here in a second. Things just, just, it just goes wrong. Everything flips around. Everything just gets exploded, blah, 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 boom, boom. And things go, take a look. Maybe Milo isn't the best guy to have around. Yeah, so I don't know if Milo has this bad luck or if it's the crossover bringing the bad luck or if it's all just, I don't know if it's just, I really don't know, but things just started going wrong, breaking, exploding. And I'm just gonna guess that, you know, I, I really just don't know at this point, guys. But anyway, it's really crazy to see this crossover happen on Disney, the Disney Channel. So it looks like Disney is actually, you know, taking lead of Cartoon Network or is Cartoon Network following the lead? Who is doing more crossovers? It looks like we're kind of tied, but I think Cartoon Network was doing the most. We need to see more crossovers from Nickelodeon, though. I got to say that. But it is kind of refreshing to see Milo, you know, such a crazy cartoon crossover with Phineas and Furbity Furbity Ferb. What are you guys thinking about this list so far? I know that Disney and Cartoon Network have been the main center of attention in this video so far, but I want to go ahead and see if I can find any more Nickelodeon. So keep on watching. Maybe I'll find a Nickelodeon crossover. But you know how Nickelodeon is, man. They're very precise. They have real storyboards. They very follow, they follow it to the T, boys. There's no crossing over going on. Or is there? Keep watching. You'll find out. But yeah, guys, you know, Phineas and Ferb, I think this um, show had definitely had a good run. You know, it definitely had a good run. And I hope to see more of this cartoon in the future. Hopefully a crossover, maybe with a newer cartoon that crosses over with this. But, you know, we'll never know. All right, guys, let's go on and go on to the next one, which is number three. Mars Bodega has the best chili dogs in the multiverse. Flyer? Okay, KO again had another crossover with Sonic the Hedgehog. In this cartoon crossover, which was pretty crazy because this is actually a video game. Sonic is a video game character. OKKO OK is kind of a, you know, cartoon. But you, did you know that OKKO OK actually started off as a video game? So that's really crazy. So I guess that's where they got the idea. Or maybe that's just a complete coincidence, honestly. I'm thinking way too deep into this with my theories. Um, but anyway, guys, the characters go on this crazy adventure. And, you know, OKKO, OK you know, they have to, you know, they have to chase this bad guy down. And what, what's happening here is exactly this, what I thought it would. You know, he's too slow. Sonic is just too extremely fast. Even Tails is catching up. 
but it doesn't even look like Sonic is going at full speed and OK KO is just struggling in the background. OK KO, who exactly are we going after now? Those guys work for... <sighs> He's struggling in the background. Sonic is going full speed, no stopping, never stop, 24-7, 150,000%. And it's just really crazy to see this on Cartoon Network. I just would have never thought I'd see this, you know, years ago. But yes, guys, crossovers are really happening. You know, you know, for the last five years, what I've noticed is crossovers have been being, well, that's really bad English. Crossovers have been made a lot and not just random crossovers. I'm talking Sonic, you know, Sonic movie came out, you know, just a lot of Sonic content has just come out out of nowhere, at least last year and this year. Which is crazy to see if you are a Sonic fan, you're probably like, whoa, this is an abundance of cartoons, abundance of games, abundance of movies, abundance of Sonic and his franchise, which is crazy. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go on to the next one, which is going to be number two. This is actually an older cartoon, kind of a retro nostalgic. Well, the date didn't really get off to a great start. I loved you in that mermaid movie. Ed, Ed and Eddie. Now, this is kind of a lost, a really, really lost one. But this is actually from, a, you know, a sitcom, not sitcom, but kind of a a parody tune dates. And the characters would be matched up in this world and they would try to date each other. Really strange seeing as Ed, you know, is not a good choice. I don't know. You know, I'm not going to judge Daphne for doing this, but Scooby-Doo and Ed, Ed and Eddie crossing over. That is the wildest thing I've ever seen in my life. Cartoon Network is definitely crazy. Also, Ed decided to take her on a date to get burgers and fries at a fast food which, again, I'm not judging, you know, everyone's different, but do does Daphne really want to go there? Does she really want to, on a first date, does she really want to get fast food? So, you know, it is what it is, but I just don't know if this date went well. Obviously, Ed is having a good time. Of course, he hurt her in the process, but, you know, you know how Ed is, man. But, you know, that was a crazy crossover to see. I mean, you just wouldn't expect that. You know, you wouldn't expect to see this. In such an out, such an old cartoon. And I love Ed and Eddie, but wow, I just did not know this happened. I figured this out a couple years ago, actually. But um, you know what else is crazy is that on the date, you know, Ed was really trying, even though he's hurting her. You know, he was really trying to impress her. You know, he was trying to make the date good, but he did go a little far by trying to kiss her in the end, which I will show you. But another crazy thing is that this character is a new character. No one knows who this is, and we all know the characters in Ed, Ed and Eddie are really selected like we only know the kids from the call and there's not really any other characters other than the parents which they never show so i thought this was really interesting that they showed another character but besides the point guys ed obviously went too far and the date probably didn't go as planned look at him and he got kicked out and blah 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 anyway let's go on to number one finally finally number one our first award for best animated series for tweens goes to... All right, you guys probably saw this coming or not. You can't read the future. You can't see into the future. But yes, guys, this was number one. Uncle Grandpa. Obviously, these cartoon characters are so anticipating trying to win this thing. Who won? You know, you, who can you see here? I can see Powerpuff Girls, Gumball, Finn, Steven Universe, Samurai Jack, uh, Ben 10. What? All these cartoons cross them into one world. So I just decided to make this number one. See all your favorite cartoon characters at a, an award show. And obviously, Uncle Grandpa is being so greedy, he went ahead and made himself win all the trophies. Look at him running up there as the winner because he obviously rigged it because, you know, what the heck is going on here? But, you know, obviously, the Powerpuff Girls were angry, but, you know, it is what it is. Guys, what did you think of this list? This is a crazy video. This was a crazy just crossing over. Cartoons crossing over. This doesn't happen every day, people. This does not happen every freaking day. So whenever a crossover happens, our eyes are glued to that dang screen and we better be freaking watching, you know, what's happening because we know we're not going to get a crossover like that ever again. And it's going to be super rare, super duper duper rare to see crossovers. But guys, these cartoon networks have they've well cartoon networks. I'm talking about, you know, Disney as well. They have really went out of their way to do these crossovers for the fans. You know, it's not just a random act. You know, it's really for us to enjoy. Hey, this is a breath of fresh air. How would it be like if he interacted with him? How would it be like if Raven saw, you know, Ben 10 characters? How would it be like if Steven Universe did this, did that? So, you know, <clears throat> you know, it's crazy to see these things happening. And, you know, anytime I see a crossover, you know, that's what even inspired me to do my cartoon rap battle series. You know, a lot of people think, oh, you know, Kolobi, you know, you did that because Verbal Lace, you know, it was a ripoff. But did you know that I actually did my cartoon rap battle series 
and I didn't even know who Verbal Ace was at the time. Literally, the only time I knew about Verbal Ace was after my second cartoon rap battle. And people were in the comments, oh, this is a copy of Verbal Ace. And I didn't even know him. So that was crazy. But of course, I know people are not going to believe me. But that's your that's your opinion, if anything. If anything, I knew about epic rap battles. But you know, that's besides the point. What am I talking about? We're at the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm actually working on a big cartoon rap battle. Yes, I said big. Got you guys. I got you guys. I got you guys. Anyway, thank you guys. I'll see you guys later.